it is hard to believe someone like this person can exist on YouTube and still make shitty video after shitty video, not even once acknowledging criticism. It's almost as if she hates criticism, so what she does is label all form of critics to be harassers on the internet. It is sad and stupid, but I'm not going to make a YouTube video. And why is that? Because we all know the reason you made me come here. Now that I have 550 subs, you want me to make a 550 sub special. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's not going to happen for two reasons. Reason one is some of these subscribers aren't real people. Someone has made at least a good 20 accounts to subscribe to my channel. A few other accounts just to mock me. Regardless of their intentions are, if at least a good 100 subs are nothing more than mere fake accounts, then it feels rather empty to even make a video special. Second of all, even if there is only like maybe 10 of my subs are fake, a 550 subs milestone isn't really worth celebrating. Now 600 subs, I can understand. But I'm waiting for more people to subscribe. I need people to really watch my videos to spread the word about me. Besides, I already made like 3 videos on oh shit Brit. A fourth is not needed. And I doubt that anything she says will pisses me the hell off to the point of making a song on how stupid this person is. Oh, is that right? YOU FUCKING IMBECILE! yourself when your name contains the word shit. Seriously, do you fear that people might get triggered by you cursing? Well, if that's the case, why not change your fucking name? At least have some consistency. And why do you have to censor yourself when you curse when you can just not curse at all? Seriously, it sounds like a fucking dog whistle. Fuck you, I don't need a reason. See what you're doing right now? Ah! You know, judging from this intro alone, I just figured out that you're nothing more than a big fat narcissist. Well, hey, it's oh shit, Brit here. Oh wait, let me just fix that for you. Well, hey, it's oh shit, Brit here. You see, problem solved. And today I am talking about why I disabled comments on some of my videos and why I delete a lot of the comments that I get. The short answer is that you're nothing more than a big, fat, fucking coward. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you Do you need to ask again? My platform is my platform. It's a space for issues that I care about. So in other words, it's a safe space where you get to inflate your own ego. Glad you admit you hate outside voices, even if those outside voices are reasonable. But listen up, I'm gonna be really honest with you. I delete and disable comments because I just don't have the time or energy to deal with it. And it's just really, really f***ing rude and disrespectful for people to demand that I spend my time and energy on your YouTube comment. I think- Oh yeah, acting reasonable? <laughs> fuck that shit! I think what's more annoying to me than, like, the amount of harassment is the people who tell me that I'm somehow, like, not honest or something for deleting comments. Well, you are being dishonest in a way because you're preventing people who have a voice against you speak on your channel. You don't want your fans to question you, you want them to be as blind as bats and ignore any form of criticism. Because as long as nobody's challenging your viewpoint, it must mean you are right. In other words, you want your fans to believe that you're being hated on because you are a woman. No, don't worry. You might not see this video, but I'll make sure some of your fans will. Like, they call my credibility into question because I disable comments. It's as if I'm like this evil person who's like trying to silence people and take away their freedom of speech. And they were all comments from men's rights activists, meninists, um, that there's this new, or I don't know if it's new, but uh, this group of people who hate women called um, MGTOWs or some shit like that. 
um, kind of just hating on me for being a woman, speaking out against rape. The truth of the matter is that you're lying through your teeth. I am not an MRA or MGTOW, and I am not hating on you because you are a woman. Your fans need to know the truth, and the fact that you do everything in your power to prevent hearing reasonable points is absurd. Hell, I am more than happy to take in criticism, and my fans are willing to defend themselves or defend me because they're not afraid. You are a very poor role model in reality and on YouTube. I have people coming to me on Facebook and Twitter being like, since you disabled comments on one of your videos, this is the only way that I can harass you now. And by harass, you mean criticism. I can tell that you're going to block me on Twitter and Facebook because how dare I speak out against a girl? My time is very valuable to me. I like to spend my time with people that I like. I like to spend my time bettering myself, learning about things, volunteer work, exercising, reading. Inflating your own ego, lying to your fans, and finally avoiding any forms of criticism whatsoever. These are the signs of that of a narcissist. I like to, you know, I like to do productive and meaningful things with my time. So what's wrong with addressing criticism? Oh wait, that's right, all criticism is harassment. Honestly, taking a goddamn nap is a better use of my time. I do not like responding to harassment on YouTube. I commented on your blog, and I pointed out some of your flaws. You know what you did? You removed that comment! And it wasn't harassment, it, it was just simple criticism! You are again being dishonest! I just, that's just like, it's not, it's not a hobby of mine, it's not an interest of mine, it's just like, it's nothing to me. And so when I disable YouTube comments or I delete them, it's, it's me saying, you have taken up too much of my time, please go away. Because you're so above criticism, you freaking narcissist! And that's not up for debate. Do I care if you think that I should be spending my time on your ignorant comments? No, I don't care if you think that. I don't care at all. I don't give a single f Well, enjoy being the most hated YouTuber on this planet! Because it's my time, my energy, my work, my livelihood, my writing, my videos, my life. So, understand that this YouTube channel is a space for me. We get it! You're a fucking narcissist! First and foremost. Secondly, this is a space for marginalized people. Because those are the people that I care about. So you only allow comments that agree with you. You might as well disable comments on every video you make because once again you're a freaking narcissist! Keep this in mind. If you are not a marginalized person, you don't have an invitation to watch my video. Do you even know what marginalized even mean? No, you just want people to inflate your ego. Th that's what you mean when, when you mean marginalized. You want people to agree with you automatically so that way you can feel safe. I'm not asking you to be here. I don't want you to be here. I don't want you to be commenting. I don't want you to talk to me. So I, I feel like I've been like really nice in my videos up until now, but like I'm just frustrated and like I don't... I'm gonna be straightforward with you. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> then here's a simple solution. Disable your comments in every freaking video, you freaking narcissist. If you're a straight white man, you have to, like, be doing a fair amount of work to, like, not be an asshole for me to think that, like, you're worth my time. So if you're anything but a cisgender to white male, then by default you're worth her time. You're a fucking racist! And I'm not a white male! I'm a Puerto Rican! So check your privilege, you excuse of a human being! To talk to and engage with. And that's just my opinion. And I don't care if you disagree with it, because it's my opinion. And like, <laughs> this is my platform for my opinion. But I'm being completely direct when I say that if you are not a marginalized person, my videos aren't for you. Too bad you're not immune to criticism, or your fans! Not for you to debate about, they're not gonna benefit you in any way. Oh yeah, trying to be reasonable in debate? Oh yeah, there's no fucking benefit from that! <laughs>
not trying to benefit men or white people or straight people or like any sort of privileged person. I'm just not trying to do that. And so if you don't like that, you should probably just like go on to another video and comment. Your comment will likely be deleted here. You understand me as a woman saying that like, I'm just gonna delete videos because I want to. Like that's, that's not gonna be respected. And I understand that, but- You understand. Yeah, we totally believe you when you say you understand. I don't care if it's not respected by you on the other end of this camera because I respect myself. I've gone through periods of time where I felt like I had to like explain myself a lot and justify myself a lot. Because you're a narcissist, oh for fuck's sakes, I've been saying the exact same word over and over again, you're a narcissist. And I'm gonna keep saying it because it's a proven fact. You are a narcissist. But I'm just to the point where it's like, I respect myself way, way, way too much to be harassed on the internet. And guess what? Like I said before, criticism to you is harassment. You have yet to acknowledge any form of criticism that is given to you. And instead what you do is just say that it's just all harassment. You are a big, fat, lying, narcissistic asshole. That's what you are. And I'm not saying this to harass you. I'm not saying this because you are a woman. I'm not saying this because you have a voice on the internet. I am saying this because you have proven yourself to be nothing more than a narcissist. I'm not gonna beg for somebody else to respect me when I could just respect myself. So I'm just gonna like come out and say it. If you're not actively working on dismantling misogyny, deconstructing white supremacy, your comments aren't welcome. Well, I'm a gender egalitarianist. I'm against misogyny and misanthropy. But oh wait, that's just not good enough for you. I gotta believe everything you have to say, you know, just automatically believe in you. I'm sorry, your majesty. Let me kiss your fucking foot. If you're not gonna respect me as a person, your comments aren't welcome. I get so many hateful comments. I get so much harassment. I get response videos. I don't watch your response videos, you know? Like, when you leave me little comments, like, check out this response video that I made that's, like, bashing you and, like, just watch yourself crumble as I, like, destroy you in this video. I, I don't watch those because why the f*** would I? Like well, it's not necessarily bashing when someone is criticizing you. But, you know, you know what? Since you're not watching this video, I'm sure that your fans will be more than happy to take a look at this video for themselves. Like, why would I sit there and watch somebody degrade me in a video? I like myself as a person, and I'm pretty sure I disagree with everything you're gonna say. Because every video response towards you has been nothing more than insults to you. That's it. That's all it is to you. I mean, it's not like these people provided facts to back up their claims or the fact that these people are not MRAs or MGTOWs, just people who have issues on what you're telling people. But again, you are narcissistic and you love yourself to the point where you want to have intercourse with yourself. And you have every right to say it and whatever, but like, it doesn't affect me. It doesn't bother me. I don't pay any attention to it. So just like, just stop. Save yourself the energy. The truth is, I have gotten so much harassment both online and in real life, walking down the street as a woman. Um, if you're going to equate catcalling to harassment, then you are a total moron. And men get catcalled too, but you don't say anything about that. In interpersonal relationships where I haven't been respected because I'm a woman or whatever. You get disrespect? Oh geez, it must be because you're a woman and no other factor in the world! I'm sorry, but respect is earned, not just given away like if you just won the fucking lottery. Or just like, because of assholes who just don't respect people in general. I am numb to it. I still think it's wrong and disgusting and I'm still gonna speak out about it. Yes, it annoys me and it affects me and bothers me. 
But I, I'm done crying over it. I'm done lamenting the state of the world. I've done that and I realize that you can't turn those tears into anything productive at all. So I'm done. If you're a harasser or an abuser or a misogynist or a racist or homophobic. Well, you hate cisgender white men by default, so therefore you should ban yourself from the internet. Or anything. Or just like any sort of like hateful person who is just like disrespectful and awful like I'm, I'm done dealing with you so just respect myself way too much to allow myself to be harassed and abused there is a person mowing their lawn now and that's annoying and i think i've said enough anyway so i will see you next tuesday and thank goodness this is over well might as well end it in a bang it's super fraternalistic, patriarchal bullshit. Yes, the even sound of it is quite the horseshit. If you say it loud enough, you still sound like bullshit. Super fraternalistic, patriarchal bullshit. Fuck it, fuck it, I'll 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 Because I am not afraid to speak of what's in my mind. Here I offer criticism just of every kind. Oh, shit, British really thought he can handle words. So it is. The rule of thumb, you thinking human turf is super fragile, it's a fix of patriarchal bullshit. Yes, the evil sound of it is quite a horseshit. If you say it loud enough, it still sound like bullshit. Super fragile, it's a fix of patriarchal bullshit. Fuck it, 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 fuck it. Sorry if I'm being mean, but this is really true. You have lied about everything, and this is nothing new. I am not an MRA or even MGTOW Oh what you don't even listen, you're just a cow It's about the rest of this patriarchal bullshit Yes, the even sound of it is quite a horseshit If you say it loud enough, it still sounds like bullshit Super fun, this is patriarchal bullshit The lyrics are in the description if you want to sing along Quite frankly, I am too lazy to put the lyrics up in the fucking video <laughs> Ugh so thank you guys for watching. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.